Hi, thanks for watching my video tonight. Tonight I want to talk about um, Lua triggers, specifically two types, teleport and gravity, or gravity is sometimes referred to as environmental triggers. <clears throat> so I have one, two, three, four boxes. This box is set at zero gravity. This one is set at 162, which is moon. This one is 24. 92 which is Jupiter and this one is set at 274 and that's the Sun so you can see I put a UFO up here and he's shooting down his beams and this is something uh, this is a um, teleport so these are Lua triggers that are gravity and this is a teleport and we're gonna drive into that and the car was fall out of the bottom of the UFO but first, let me show you these uh, how these gravities work. This is this first one is zero. This is zero. So that was zero g. This next one is moon gravity. And this next one right here. Watch the car squat. This is Jupiter. You can see how strong... Oh, get away from that car. This is Jupiter gravity. You can see my strength is on 45. But you can still drive through it. But now... We're going to turn around and drive through sun. That's sun. That's 274. And let's just do the teleport and then I'll explain how I do all of these. So let's get this going right here. We're just going to pause it there and we're going to back up over here. So you can get a better idea what's going to happen here. Just watch up here at this red ball. And that's a teleport. So you have two different type of Lua triggers. Teleport and gravity. So let me tell you how... Oh, my police car is only going to go back to where it teleport to. So you got to press... F7. Let's turn the car back over. And is it going to land on its feet? No. Nope. Come on. There we go. Okay. So. Let's press J to pause the game press F11 and just ignore all this other stuff I built but once you're in the world editor you want to click on the little plus sign and over here it says BMMG click on that and then uh, Lua trigger and then place the Lua trigger wherever you want it once you have the Lua trigger you can make it a square or if you press uh, 3, you can resize it. <clears throat> and you can make it a square or a sphere by coming over here. It says box, and you can change it to a sphere. That's how I got the one over there as a sphere. So we'll just make it a box. And um, this right here is when you drive your vehicle into it, you see how this one is in the air. All you have to do is go through it because this one is on contains. So that means that any time the vehicle touches it, it's going to do its thing. It's going to teleport it. If it's on center, you would have to lower this down like that to where the vehicle would hit the center of the sphere in order for the teleport to work. 
also, in this case, I just wanted to touch the very edge of it. So I put it on contains. And um, another thing, if you, you can see our teleport over here, the one I made, is not lit up. And you can see how these are lit up. If you highlight it and you hit debug over here and then choose a color, it will stay. So even if you press F11 and you exit, it will stay there. So that's how you get these colorful little shapes to them. So again, press F11. So now that we got it made, <clears throat> we need to get our, our script that we have to make it do something. So let's go back to my desktop. And let's go here. Desktop and down here somewhere, right here. This is my two functions. This is um, the teleport function, and this is the gravity function. So we're going to do concentrate on gravity, and I'm going to put both of these scripts down in the con down in the uh, description area. So let's copy this. Go back to the Lua trigger. Now, when you're on the Lua trigger, come over here, and this is the inspector. And right here it says Lua function. Click on that box and this little window will pop up. Put your cursor over there and hit Control V and that will paste everything. Now, well, let's just leave everything alone. But let me just tell you one thing. Whatever it says right here, my gravity trigger has to be the same that it is down here. If they're different and you name it, it won't work. So let's just, and let me show you why that comes in handy. For example, this one. You come over here and you can see it says my zero, zero G, my zero G. So that way I know that that's a zero G. If you come to this one, click on it. You can see right here it says my moon, my moon, and so on and so forth. And that one should say Jupiter, and this one should say sun. So that's, you know, just how, and you can put the names right here if you, for internal name. You can put the same thing there. But for this one, we're just going to leave everything alone. because We don't want to get too complicated. So we're going to highlight this, go back to the Lua, and just check everything here again. So so this zero means everything inside the box is going to be zero G and everything out is negative 981, which is traditional Earth gravity. So if you wanted to change, like for example, moon, you would just put negative 1.62 and that would be your moon. But we're going to leave it at zero. And it just hit OK. And then we're going to hit F11, Alt Enter, go back to our car. Just press Control R for a minute. Let's make this box a little bit bigger. If you want to make it bigger, just press the number three on your keyboard and grab these handles and make the box a little bit bigger. <coughs> Let's make it really, really big. So now you see how big that box is. Um, we want to make sure we have, see it's on center, so when the car drives into it, oh, it does still work. So it must be picking up the, but if it didn't work and the car stayed on the bottom, instead of having it on center, just hit contains and it should work. Because when the center of your Lua trigger gets too far above the ground, the car just goes through, it doesn't do anything. Sometimes. So let's do a, make a quick little ramp right here. Just raise the, and we'll just flatten that out real quick.
Let's go back to our car. And now let's jump the car through there. That's that's a gravity trigger. Now we're going to come over here and we will do the teleport. After you do a teleport, if you hit R, it's always going to go back to the teleport. That sets the vehicle's new location. So you have to come down and press F7 and put your vehicle back. So the same thing with the teleport. The teleport is a little different. Um, you have to get your vehicle's destination where you want it to teleport to. So you have to go put your vehicle in that spot. So in this case, we put the vehicle up here, and as you move it, you can see these numbers over here changing position. 481, 405, that's your X, Y, Z axis is gonna change. So you wanna get your vehicle to the spot that you want it to teleport to. In this case, inside the UFO. So we're gonna go right inside there. Make sure it's centered. Now I've already done this, so I already know what these these numbers are it's off a little bit but the numbers are 89 463 which is the first one 370 which is the second one and 181 975 so those are the dimensions of the car or the position of the car so we're going to come down here and it's the teleport but before we do that we have to go back to the desktop and get the uh, my teleport information which is right here and again I'm gonna put both of these down in the description so we're gonna copy this and I've already done this so the teleport is already done so you highlight your teleport and you come over here to Lua function click on that then you would put your cursor here and press uh, control V which will do it down here just press control V and it will put it there And then you want to come up here to these three numbers right here. And the position that your car is in up there, those are the numbers that you're going to put right here. So in my case, I wrote the numbers down already, It's and the numbers are already in. It's 89.463, 370, 272, and 181.975. And just click OK. Now your vehicle and your teleport is programmed. So like again, if you hit center here, we'll exit this. Let's come back down here. Let's press F7, bring our car back. Alt enter, go full screen, J. Let's drive through here again. Oh, it did work, it worked again, good. So like I said, I noticed sometimes with the teleports and uh, gravity that if the vehicle doesn't hit this, it doesn't work. And I have to come over here sometimes and change this to contains and then it works. So again, um, you can change it to a square, to a sphere. Press number three on your keyboard to change the size, number one to move it. Um, and uh, the debug function will allow you to see it. That's how you put the colorful square around it, so de debug. And then you can come down here and choose your color. Um, I wouldn't worry about any of this stuff down here. That really has no relevance. Well, it does have relevance, but. Um, so I think that's it. So again, these are Lua triggers. 
and teleport. So if you have any questions or comments, ideas, suggestions, just leave a note down in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.